Success is hard to argue with, especially if you define success as having the number one selling sled in nearly every mountain category in the industry, which is why you'd simply be a fool to whisper even a hint of negativity about Polaris's lineup of RMK and Pro RMK models. I'm pretty sure if you did, your pants would literally catch on fire. Before we go any further, let's visit the honesty bubble just for a second. I'm not a pro mountain rider. I wish I was. Guys who can slay the pow in mountains are awesome, and I bet they get all the chicks. On the other hand, as a mid-level mountain rider, I feel I have a very unbiased and honest opinion of what works and what doesn't. Simply put, I don't have the skill to make up for a sled's shortcomings, so if I can ride it well, it must be good. And I can ride a Pro RMK really well, better than any other mountain sled I've ever swung my meaty calves over. From the very first turn I took in the fluffy white stuff, I knew this sled was something different and was gonna make me a better rider and take the pros to heights and places they never dreamed possible. What Polaris does with their RMK lineup year after year can be somewhat tiring to pay attention to. Last year, the sled got a whole new chassis. In terms of changes, they don't really get more all-encompassing than that. You'd think the vertical engineers over in Rozo had earned a year off. Nope. This year, Polaris chained the boys to their desks, and they managed to come up with over 200 new changes and improvements, some big and some small, all of which take the 2013 Pro RMK to a how nother level. Probably the most impressive new development has come thanks to Polaris's breakthroughs in bonding dissimilar materials. Basically, if two materials can't be welded, Polaris bonds them together in a way that is equally as strong. In the overstructure of the Pro RMK, this process has made it possible to use carbon fiber tubes bonded to cast aluminum ends. It's lighter, stronger, and stiffer than ever before. Of course, why stop there? The bonding process also allowed the A-arms to be lightened by bonding chromoly steel tubes to cast aluminum ends. In the past, an A-arm would have to be made of either steel or aluminum. These babies are made of both. We have a sneaky suspicion you're gonna see these lightweight parts show up on other Polaris models very soon, and bonding of exotic materials used in many other places on the RMK, Switchback, and Rush models in the very near future. One seriously cool change to the 013 Pro RMK that you can't see from the outside is the industry's first low inertia drive system. This setup eliminates the chain case, chain, and sprockets, and replaces them with what is otherwise known as a belt drive setup. Polaris says this belt and pulley drive line not only saves weight, but also lowers the rotating mass of the sled by 21%, and that this sled requires five pounds less effort to pull onto its side in the powder. After a long day, we figure that can start to add up substantially. The guys at Polaris said Chris Barant told them the 013 RMK is the most flickable sled he's ever ridden, and that he coined the term flickable after riding the RMK. Now I'm no history buff, and I certainly don't want to make any enemies, but I'm pretty sure it was the original Motorhead Mark Lester who coined the term flickable in Supertracks magazine in the early 90s. I'm not saying, I'm just saying, you know? Finally, we need to talk about those running boards. If you look quickly, they almost look like they aren't there. But look closer, and you'll see one-piece extruded aluminum running boards with more holes than material. Snow clear out is literally unbelievable. Traction is almost scary and they're more rigid than any other running board I've ever jumped up and down on. There's a lot of new technology to talk about on this sled, so much so we almost run out of time to talk about how good it actually works. But the truth is, not a lot of time is needed for that. The new 2013 Pro RMK is the easiest to ride mountain sled I've ever tried to look awesome on. It holds a line on the side of a hill with nearly no effort. It can be flicked back and forth in the deep stuff between the trees almost telepathically. Thanks to all the weight savings, more than 14 pounds this season, this sled comes in with a dry weight of only 417 pounds, which is lighter than any stock 800 class mountain sled in history. What does it mean for a guy like me? Well, simply put, it makes me look like a hero. I can ride longer and harder, and I can get into and out of places I never would have dreamed of even trying to go before. What does it mean for a pro? Well, that's a hard question to answer because we can't get them to stop riding long enough for us to even ask.